I remember the uh, Ice Jam in '55. It was yeah, uh, I remember that. Yeah, it was packed right from the mouth of the Niagara River all the way to Niagara Falls, brink of Niagara Falls. You you can't see it now, but because uh, it's been fifty years or so. <laughs> but uh, the ice was so high along the river that you could see it. It was up about fifty feet on the river bank. You could see where all the foliage had been ripped out with the ice. Of course, that's all we going over. But, uh, yeah, it was a serious ice jam. What had happened was, it can happen now, apparently. Well, we don't have the weather, really. But um, they used to have uh, the water, the uh, ice from Lake Erie could travel down the Niagara River whenever it broke up. And that's what happened. It was traveling down in mass. And there was a north wind off of uh, uh, the Niagara River which held the ice back, and it just, you could stand there and you could hear the ice groaning, or you could see it go up in the air every once in a while, in certain spots, from the pressure. They tried to, with the um, American Corps of Engineers went out to the mouth of the Niagara River and tried to uh, set up dynamite, which was like setting up a firecracker, because it didn't do anything, and eventually, of course, it broke up by itself, but... Uh, yeah, it was. It, it came. The old uh, Lewiston Bridge, which is long gone now, since what '62 or something, uh, was a a cable swing bridge, and the ice came within a foot of the bridge. If it had it built up stronger, it would have taken that bridge out. <laughs>